Hey everyone, today we're going to be discussing and breaking down some of David Beckham's haircuts. And I think David Beckham probably has one of the most popular, you know, hairstyles. He's also got like the perfect hair type for a lot of hairstyles because it's fairly straight, a little bit on the finer side. He's got a lot of hair and it's easy to work with. So here's kind of like a messy textured full hawk, which always is going to be in style. You know, this is where the top is about two inches long. The sides maybe a half an inch of that, and it just kind of works into itself. Focused to be kind of more of a messy style. Um, worked really great. Here, something obviously, he's got the sides a bit longer, the back a bit longer. This is great for somebody who just wants a more carefree type of slick back look. Um, because he has finer hair, the hair may have a tendency to kind of fall flatter if you're not using a good product to keep the hair back. Um, but you can see it's kind of more slick back around the ears. So he's got some length here. Here's another version of the kind of textured faux hawk type of style. Um, this really, honestly, is ideal for somebody who wants low maintenance, but also wants to be able to have a lot of variety. Uh, my hair product like talc, my powder would work great for this. The crafted matte paste, uh, clutch, clutch Excel. Uh, those will all work great for something like this. Here's one that I think really is a bit more modern, which is a haircut that I would suggest to anyone who is looking for somewhat low maintenance, modern, texturized, and I would just simply show pictures of this to your stylist or your barber. It's basically like a number one on the sides faded up to where the top looks like about inch and a half in length. Again, talc, my talc powder would be great for something like this. Uh, now we have the other extreme where he's got the man bun. And this is, you know, something in, I'm not really seeing a huge amount of man buns anymore or top knots. But however, if you want to wear your hair long, there's nothing wrong with that. The key to this, though, is making sure that the bottom is long enough to go into the ponytail. It's not just the top. You got to make sure the bottom of your hair is all long enough where you can kind of wrap it up into that man bun top knot okay now this is something where i've suggested this haircut to numerous people over the years for somebody who maybe had the previous picture i just showed you of the man bun this is something a very classic clean uh easy to style but notice here that the top is the longest point of the haircut the sides maybe you know a number two guard number three guard if that and then it kind of works up into the sides and the corners being a little longer and the top being the longest, probably about, I'd say, five, six inches on top. And here's another version of it here, maybe a little bit longer on the sides. But as you start to get longer on the top of your head, the, the thing is, the challenge is you have to make sure you're actually, you know, you know how to style your hair properly. This is something where you got to, you know, use product like my Tidal Wave sea salt spray it would be perfect for a pre-styler or something like this. Uh, 25 spray and then maybe my um, success paste uh, clutch clutch excel the sea salt paste I have um, even my matte pomade my crafted matte pomade if you want more of a lived in slick back type of look uh, I think my crafted matte pomade would be perfect for something like this but this is a great haircut if you're transitioning from hair that's really pretty long um, fairly low maintenance and you just got to be able to style your hair properly and have the right hair texture for this. So if you are interested in purchasing any of my products, use code YouTube20. That's YouTube20 at shop.theslonguy.com. Let me know if you have this hairstyle and if you're a fan of any of his hairstyles. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.